Hi there, we're back. I promised you uh, that I would share my story about this vest, so here goes. Uh, the story starts in, in Australia, and we were doing a workshop there, and a lady came to the workshop who was in great despair about something that had happened to her children, or in fact was still happening to her children. And she shared the story, and everybody there, including myself, found that it was a very difficult story to hear. It was really quite distressing. And I had personally found myself also losing the ability to hold the radical forgiveness context for her. So I was forced, in a sense, to share with the whole group that I was losing it and couldn't really support this. And so we gave, I gave them a couple of choices. And one was that we should just pack up and go home and I would give them their money back. Or we could just go ahead and do it anyway to go through the radical forgiveness process and just see what happened. Well, they chose to do that. They chose to go through it. And I said, well, you better understand you really don't have a leader. So we went through the whole process of radical forgiveness as we would normally do it, doing all the processes. And by the time we got to 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, I can vouch for the fact that this lady was uh, in a state of pure peace and bliss about what was going on with her children and was able to say that she really got it at the very soul level that everything was just exactly as it needed to be for their soul's journey and everything else. This proved to me two things. First of all, how easily I can lose the context of radical forgiveness and secondly, and much more importantly, that if we just do it, it works anyway. No belief is required. We don't have to understand anything. All we have to do is to be willing to go through the process. So, uh, so after that, we went away to another city in, in Australia, my wife and I. And uh, two weeks later, this turned up in the mail. The lady had made it that night. She said she had so much energy, she didn't know what to do with it. So she had to do something creative with that energy, and so she made me this vest. So I always wear it at some time during the workshop as testimony to those two things, that how easy it is for me to lose it, and secondly, all we need to do is to do the processes, and it works anyway. So that's the story of this vest, and it's, um, it's getting a little old now, and she actually made me another one, which I'll show you in just a second. So here's the, here's the new one. Here's the other one that she made me. And just look at the back of it. Like a walking billboard. So there you have it. That's the story about the vest. And that's the story about radical forgiveness. Thank you for listening.